Hi everyone! Today we're making my favourite soft potato rolls in the steam oven. You can find the full recipe for this at steamandbake.com. You just need to pop into the recipe search. And listed here is the ingredients that you'll need to make the recipe. It's really simple. The hardest thing to get really is mashed potatoes. Uh, you just need any old leftover mashed potatoes that you might have hanging around. First up, you need to gather all of your ingredients. So you'll need your bread flour, some lukewarm water or milk. Uh, milk will make your rolls a little bit richer. You need softened butter, mashed potatoes, salt, yeast, a little bit of sugar and some eggs. Pop all of your ingredients straight into the bowl of a stand mixer. You can mix this by hand, but it, it would take a really long time and it's tough work. So I prefer to do it in my KitchenAid mixer with the dough hook. Mix all of those ingredients together until you get a really soft, silky kind of a dough. It will look a little bit shaggy and sticky and it will probably be stuck to the edges of the bowl, um, even though you've mixed it quite well. Don't worry about this. It's a really soft dough and once it's proved or risen, you'll find that actually it's really nice and easy to handle. Turn your dough into a clean bowl. You can oil it if you want to, but you don't need to for this recipe, so I usually skip it. Um, you can cover with a dishcloth, but you don't need to because we're popping it straight into the steam oven. If you've got a proof setting, then use the proof setting to make the dough rise. Otherwise, just set it to around about 38 degrees Celsius and use the steam setting or 100% humidity. And this is what you'll have after about half an hour or 40 minutes in the oven. Your dough should be well and truly doubled in size and it will look puffy and airy and it will smell really yeasty and delicious. Okay, now we get to make the rolls. So turn that dough out, put it onto a lightly floured countertop. Uh, you'll need just a butter knife or a dough divider, whatever you've got in the kitchen is fine. Divide that dough into 15 portions. That will make a sort of dinner sized roll. So you can go a little bit bigger. You could just do 12 portions and make larger rolls if you wanted to do something like a burger bun. Work those portions of dough into balls. What you're looking for is something that's really smooth and a little bit taut on the top. So as you go, I kind of tuck the edges all back onto themselves and then flip the whole dough ball over so that it's got a nice sort of smooth surface and then all of those edges and sort of shaggy seams are underneath. Pop all of those beautiful dough balls into a 9 by 13 baking pan or tray. Um, I line mine with baking paper, but you don't really have to if it's non-stick. It's sort of a personal preference thing. I just like the baking paper because it makes it a bit easier for cleanup. Once they've been through a proof setting again in your steam oven, they will look like this, beautiful and puffy. They'll be really filling out the pan now. So you're ready to move on to baking. You can actually leave this whole pan in the oven and then just switch over your settings from the proof setting to a bake setting. You don't need to take them out and then put them back into a preheated oven. So we'll start them from cold. Bake your rolls until they're beautiful and golden and puffy. These are just the most amazing smelling things coming out of your oven. If you want to, you can melt a little bit of butter and brush it over the tops of the rolls as they come out. It's not necessary, but it does give them, as they cool down, a little bit of a softer crust on the top of the rolls. I told you they were fluffy. There they are. These rolls will be perfect for any sort of buffet spread or a picnic. Uh, we like to fill them with cheese and ham and pop them into lunch boxes, but really you do whatever you want to do with them. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe and that you go back and make these rolls over and over again. Uh, if you would like any more beautiful steam oven recipes, you can go to steamandbake.com and I'd love if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much. See you next time.